Betty came into hospital for elective back surgery. When I met Betty, Betty was in significant pain on the ward. The ward were very keen that Betty was discharged, but we weren't sure how Betty was going to function in her own home with the level of pain that she was in. So I introduced myself to Betty, explained the discharge to assess process, um, said that it would be a facilitated discharge with support from staff, with the reassurance that if Betty was in pain and couldn't function the way that she usually would, we would have a backup plan of intermediate care so she wouldn't be left stranded at home. The ambulance brought me home and then the OT and the OT nurse more or less followed. They were here to make sure I could use the, the things they left for me and everything just went very well. So the facilitated discharge process I feel is good for patients because you can assess somebody um, at the right time in the right place and you get a more accurate idea of how somebody's going to function within their own home doing everything that they would normally do on a daily basis. It's meant my son and daughter could carry on with their work instead of having to take time off to look after me. I could just pick the phone up and either talk to somebody or get help. I've gone on leaps and bounds. The facilitated discharge for Betty was an extra confidence boost, knowing that she was absolutely desperate to get home. She didn't want to stay in hospital for any longer than she needed to, but she wasn't quite sure due to the level of pain that she wasn't expecting following a surgery, whether or not she would cope at home or not. I think you settle better when you're in your own home because you know where everything is. You just feel more relaxed. Betty feels as if she's recovered quicker in her home environment. A daughter is more confident with how she's able to manage because day of discharge we were able to go through everything on a daily basis that Betty would need to do. 